Hey guys. Well, Happy New Year. We're here doing another unboxing. I figured I'd come outside for this one. Because it's actually not that bad. It's about 10 degrees right now. But we got a new unboxing. Another thing from Survival Hacks. It's one of those credit card things. Now these aren't the end all do all of survival, but I honestly think this would be good for the wife, to be 100% honest, because she's into little knives and stuff like that, and it's a good safety thing. There's a bag of it showing you what it comes with. Slide out of the package. That's what it looks like when you got it. Comes with some string or nylon. A little itty bitty whistle. And then your credit card. All right, here's your compass. You got a little magnifying glass. You got a little ruler up and down on both sides. One on this side, as you can see. Pull that out, you got a can opener. Can opener and a screwdriver. Right here you got a little fail rod. And you got a little serrated knife with a belt cutter and a little wrench on it. You also have a built-in little sharpening stone right there. A pair of tweezers right there. And a little toothpick. Now it's a little thick to be a credit card one, because you're going to notice this in your wallet, guys. Um, These things are kind of, they're hit or miss. They really are. I mean, the blade's pretty sharp, surprisingly, because a lot of these aren't. I mean, sorry, everything's covered in ice. Seems pretty rigid. I mean, it would definitely be good for opening up packages and stuff like that. Honestly, like I said, it, this is not really a real survival... I'm going to get you out of your screwed situation. This is more of a everyday type carries thing. So you're at work and you need a magnifying glass. Boom, you got a magnifying glass. Yes, it doubles as a fire starter, but... <sighs> you really want to sit there like this and try to start a fire with it? I mean, you can, but why? The fire seal's pretty good. Um... See if I can get it to spark. Yeah, it puts out a little spark. Everything's covered in ice. So yeah, it puts out a little bit of a spark. That'd always be good. I mean, always a way to start fire is good. Magnifying glass, oh, I mean, you're, you're kind of reaching. It works, but for like an everyday thing, that'd be good for looking at small print. Little button compass, I mean, it seems to work. Everybody always needs a can opener. Like I said, a little knife. This, like I said, I'm going to give to my wife anyway. She likes this type of little stuff. That way, like, if she ever needs a knife, 
and she doesn't want somebody to know she has one. She has little stuff like this, so it's more concealed. Yeah, that's what I got for you guys. I mean, it's not a bad deal. It's not a bad deal. I've had a couple of these uh, survival cards, and a lot of times, they're pretty chintzy, guys. They're, like, really pretty fucking chintzy. This one, it seems to be pretty decent quality. I mean, it's more heavy duty. The blade doesn't feel like it's going to fold over when you start trying to bend it. So that's a perk. It's pretty much keeping up with most of the survival hack stuff that I've been looking at. I mean, it's all pretty decent quality stuff. Is it something that if I lost today, would I buy another? For me, no. If my wife did, because she's, she'll probably end up using the thing a lot. Yeah, I'll buy her another one. So you got to look at who you're buying your stuff for. Is it for you? Or is it for somebody that isn't really prepping or isn't really trying to set up a bug out bag, but they're just trying to keep a little assortment of tools with them? For somebody like that, it's perfect. 100% perfect. Like I said, my wife was playing with it already. She liked it. So it's all in who you're buying it for. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. See you on the next.